We were promised to add the RPD, which will fit perfectly, as the game already had the RPK and the PKP, and the 7.62x39 caliber is ideal to fit between 5.45 and 7.62x44R. Another question, will the RPD become just another gun that everyone forgets? Let's try to figure it out. The machine gun itself is considered quite light, but still it will be heavier than the APK. If compared to its direct competitor, the AKM, it has a longer and heavier barrel. This should positively affect the initial bullet speed, as well as cooling allowing for long sprays without the risk of overheating. The recoil of the weapon is such that you can confidently shoot from a standing position. Deploying bipods or getting some support is hardly felt. The rate of fire is an average 600 or 650 rounds per minute. In the search for comparative information about which one has stronger recoil, the AKM or the RPD, there was nothing precise anywhere. Mostly it was said that the recoil is similar. Another distinctive feature of the RPD is the belt fed system, which is more of a downside because the gun takes takes a very long time to reload. At the same time, the AKM or APK can have a high capacity magazine installed for a quick reload. The advantage of the Dectero machine gun is its magazine, accommodating a whole 100 rounds. Modern as such is not provided for the weapon. Yes, in the modern world you can see some unique specimens, however in fact it's all makeshift and it's not possible to easily install something on this weapon. The only thing that somehow fits in is the Picatinny rail. It's in the game and accordingly you can attach size to it. Well, maybe some muzzle devices can be installed. For the most part, the gun itself is not particularly convenient to use. Since there is no tactical grip, you will have to hold on to the handguard by passing the magazine. If you reason in this way, the gun basically has two future options. The first is to give the machine gun a firing rate of 650 rounds per minute, and then it will be slightly more deadly than the AKM. It will also be necessary to set quite decent initial characteristics of this weapon, since there is no modern and accordingly the gun will be subpar. The second option is to balance throw the price, so that the values of recoil and ergonomics are mediocre, but having bought it for 50,000 you can go and dominate. In general, the RPD is quite an old weapon, which is why it has many problems. Therefore, in modern realities it is not the best choice. In the conditions of Tarkov, most likely it will be something like the SVT. Took it for a little money and reconciled with the fact that you have a hefty recoil. Attach your thoughts in the comments, I am not saying goodbye to you. The video is ending. See you in the next video. Good luck!